So we have the Leica XU camera, and as you can see, it is a little special because it is waterproof. And we are taking this on a whitewater rafting trip along with the GoPro Hero 7 Black, our favorite camera, and we're gonna pit them against each other and just see which one has the best photo and video quality. Yes, and just for reference, the GoPro costs around $350 to $400, while the Leica costs around $3,500. So one is about 10 times more expensive than the other. Let's see what you get uh, for that uh, markup. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back from our trip soon. That's just a little riffle, not too much of a rapid. Oh my god, there's a snake. Oh, there's a snake. <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, we wrapped our trip uh, rafting down the river with waterproof cameras and we're back in beautiful Seattle on the lake here and I have a farmer stand but I couldn't avoid it uh, and we have some thoughts to share. This is the Leica XU camera. It is waterproof but it is $3,500 versus the GoPro which is $350. <laughs> And I don't know about you, but I definitely expected this camera to perform better. Yeah, let's think about uh, what we found out. Uh, first, our expectations, at least my expectations, were that for that much money you would get a camera, which is a serious photography camera, mm -hmm. hopefully be able to do video, and it will be able to be used in these environments in which you're diving or jumping or doing things like action, you know, similar to what you would use a GoPro for. And, but I thought that also you can take it outside the water and use it like a normal camera so you wouldn't need uh, other cameras to use at times that you can get them wet. That was definitely the expectation and this camera, you know, it has full manual control and that was definitely the biggest appeal for getting this camera. And so I enjoyed the full manual control. Uh, it's definitely better than I think the GoPro which has some functions that you can put into manual but it's not the easiest to do, you have to use a touch screen. So I like the tactile uh, buttons and dials that are on the Leica. Yeah, it also has a fixed lens but the fixed lens is 1.7 which is quite nice and low lighting mm -hmm. is not bad. Um, now, so for controls the Leica is definitely way better. Um, it has all the nice things on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do manual focus, you can do manual everything pretty much. Mm -hmm. And it has also a flash, which is quite nice. Yeah. Especially when you're underwater, uh, if you've ever been at the reef and you're shooting at the reef and you wonder why it's blue and it's not vibrant color like you see in documentaries, it's because you need an external light source for that to get color out of underwater environments. So the Leica having a flash right on the lens actually gives you a a lot of benefit there mm -hmm. uh, and you know that's also something the GoPro doesn't do so those are the benefits of the Leica. I think another benefit about the Leica is it's really simple controls it's really simple menu system so it's not like Sony it's not even like GoPro I think I think the menu is a little bit more straightforward so it's pretty easy to find everything that you want and to set all of your settings appropriately. GoPro definitely frustrates me a lot with its uh, different types of controls that I never know what's happening and if it's reliably going to do what I want it to. Leica does exactly what you want it to. So then we can move on to now where the Leica was a bit subpar. And so first of all, definitely in the video department, it can it caps out at 1080. But beyond that, it um, is way worse because whenever we took it out in daylight, you know, we were on a raft. So a lot of it was daylight and the water was splashing us. So it wasn't like we're that much interested in being underwater at that trip. We wanted a camera that can take the water, yet do well outside of the water when we're on the raft. And all the video from the raft looked atrocious to me. Well, it was a little bit deceptive because if we viewed it, if we viewed it on the camera, it looked really good. But that's why I hesitated to make a conclusion during that trip about this camera because I was like, wait, I want to see this on my computer, how we're actually going to be using this footage. And when we pulled that footage onto our computer, it was shockingly bad. The was, video quality yeah. is atrocious. It's unusable. Yeah, we're it's not unusable. Yeah. to the point where we wouldn't um, put it on any of our video. It's no. that bad. However, the video was better when it was either indoors with lower, lower light or underwater, again, with lower light, which makes me think that this camera is indeed, indeed tuned for being in the water. So it's strictly an underwater camera in that case, at least when it comes to video. To video, for sure. Um, yeah. But then, you know, many people would say, well, it's a Leica, it's only for photography. The video is just kind of there, but it's not to be used. Which uh, then makes me also think of the focus that it has issues with. 
So at this point, we've probably very thoroughly turned you off from buying the Leica. Please don't do that. It's a really awful waterproof camera. You'll be much better off with the GoPro. But if you do want a really nice little point-and-shoot camera to take some still photos and 4K video, we do have an extra camera to recommend. And that camera is the Olympus Tough. Now this is the Olympus Tough TG2. They're now on the TG6. So this is a camera that keeps getting better and better. It looks really great and so is the footage that you get if you're shooting 4K video. You can also do JPEG stills, you can do RAW stills. This is just a really great waterproof camera and I would highly recommend this in place of the Leica and in place of really any other waterproof cameras on the market uh, if you need something other than just the GoPro. Yeah, the focus really isn't great and I did do my research. I read several reviews and I have to, at the end of the day, review or agree with the reviewers after viewing that footage on the big screen. Uh, the focus is really slow and it doesn't capture like moving subjects or action very well. Yeah. And if you're moving, it's also yeah. sometimes just doesn't focus yeah. at all. And if you're diving or swimming or whatever, snorkeling, you're moving all the time. Water yeah. is moving you around. Mm -hmm. The camera having a hard time focusing, especially when things are blurry and, and kind of um, hard to make out. The camera has really hard time focusing. Mm -hmm. So if it is strictly a photography camera for underwater, then it doesn't do very well in that either because of that issue with the focus. You have to be standing like rock steady or like have a tripod or something, which most people, like you're snorkeling, you're swimming, you're moving around, the current is pushing you around. And so this camera would fail at that miserably in terms of focus. It's also a really heavy camera, so this thing would sink. I mean, it's a really, really heavy one. Yeah, you need some kind of buoy with it, yeah. otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, that said, it did do well in certain things that other Leicas do as well. It gets color and texture quite nicely. Mm -hmm. So if your subject was very static yeah. and you were very static <laughs> and it was a still shot, still it got good it's image great. quality yeah. in that case. Um, however, in, in most of these other situations in which you would expect an underwater camera to excel in that are action-based, it, it didn't do well at all. Yeah. My and, phone did better. <laughs> yes, and, and the GoPro. So, Bringing it back to the GoPro for a comparison sake, GoPro was always sharp in or out of the water. It does 4K, it costs 10 times less, and yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hyper smooth. It, was it very does, smooth. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another this point. Actually, has you know, image stabilization, video stabilization, which you can switch on or off. I don't know about you, but I didn't see any stabilization in our videos. It was very, very unstable. The GoPro is 10 times better at stability, which yeah. you also need for action and for the water. So again, the camera doesn't step up to the GoPro even closely at that point. No. And we're talking about 10 times the price difference. Right. Um, and it brings me to what I always have thought about Leicas, and now it's more or less confirmed, is that they're extremely overpriced. You know, that's not news to anybody, but um, they have old technology. They yeah. cannot come close to modern cameras, yet they cost 10 times more than them. So what is in it in it for you in there? It's It reminds me of like a supercar that's kind of like vintage and you're strictly getting it to be a show off and yeah. you actually can do real work with it. If I was on a photo shoot, I would never get a Leica. Or if I had a business, I would never invest in a Leica well, because it doesn't do well for me. Well, to be fair, this is the first Leica that we've chosen to use. And it is, you know, an underwater camera that is his main strength. So we can't speak for all Leicas out there. But this experience with this particular camera does not make me want to use any other Leicas. <laughs> Let's put it Stay that way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fujifilm does amazing video compared to it. And the photos come really close and the price difference is really in the favor of other cameras and not the Leicas. So I hope you enjoyed this test. So our bottom line is take the $3,500 you'd spend on this camera and save like most of it and just buy a GoPro. <laughs> you can GoPro buy a GoPro Zero and a Fujifilm X-T3 and some lens yep. instead of buying a single It'll Leica. Get way better video quality and probably better image quality in terms of autofocus. That's right. I also want to remind you that we have the giveaway going for one more day. It closes at the end of Saturday, July 13th. So please follow the link below to enter that giveaway and stay tuned because we'll be picking a winner very soon. Mm -hmm.